Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video from Memory Lane and I'm going to be using the Doodlebug So Punny collection. This is my last layout for this collection and I'm going to do some mixed media. So off camera I went ahead and took a piece of white cardstock and clear gesso and my um, spatula rubber silicone brush and put some gesso on the cardstock and now I'm taking my distress oxide inks and I'm going to use the colors peacock feathers fossilized amber and picked raspberry these are some of my favorite colors from the oxide inks and the regular distress inks and they match perfectly with this doodlebug collection that has the pinks, yellows, and blues all in it. So I'm using the packaging technique, which you guys, if you guys have been watching my show, or my show, <laughs> my channel for a while, um, I've done this quite a bit. And this is a favorite technique of mine just to get some mixed media on the background. Um, and a lot of ladies use this same technique. So it's nothing new. You just um, put the ink pad directly onto some packaging and then spray it with a little water, um, smush it around, and then kind of just smush it on the paper. It's really not technical at all. <laughs> um, and for me, I kind of um, soak up some of the uh, ink so it's not so dark. So I just like to kind of touch it with a paper towel. Dab it, I guess. Dab it with a paper towel. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I am going to go back in and add a little bit more. And in just a second, I'm going to go back in and add a little more pink in some of the places that I just felt it didn't really um, have enough pink um, because pink's my favorite color. <laughs> so that is what I'm doing right now. So this collection is a super, super cute collection. If you guys like Doodlebug, it's one of their super cute collections um, and I am going to be using a photo of my husband. This photo was taken hmm, a couple months ago when we went out for coffee. So he got off work early and my daughter was still in school and he said, hey, let's go get some coffee. So it's a picture of him sitting across the table from me at Starbucks um, with my coffee in front of me and he hadn't got his yet. Um, but mine, my cup has like bright red lipstick on it because I had red lipstick on that day. Um, so I just thought that it was a cute photo to document and I'm using a lot of scrap paper, uh, from previous layouts because this is my fourth layout using this collection. And, um, I'm really making the scraps work for me. <laughs> so I'm going to do some layers behind the photo. And I did take a piece of the 12 by 12 paper from the collection, which is black with little itty bitty tiny polka dots all over it with all of the colors in this collection. And that is the background paper. So the white cardstock is matted on that. And now I'm just kind of doing some layers behind the photo. I am going to change it up. Um, I glue this part down and then I decide to add another layer behind it. So I am going to pull that up in a minute and realize that I wanted to put like a little flag banner behind it. Um, so that is what I'm going to do right now. If you guys haven't checked out Memory Lane, I will have the website linked below in my description along with a coupon code so you guys can get 20% off your purchase. Um, if she's got a sale going, uh, she will take whichever is highest. So either the coupon code or the sale, but she can't use both. Um, and yeah, so also I have a sketch over on Memory Lane. If you haven't seen that video, it was, I believe, last week's video for Memory Lane that I have up. Um, if you're not a member of the group in our Facebook, you can go over there and just keep up to date with what's going on in the store, um, new stuff that comes in the store, the guest designers post their stuff in there, and um, I post my stuff in there. Uh, as well as the sketch for the month. And you, if you use the sketch and you post it in the group, you will be entered in a giveaway at the end of the month to win a $10 gift certificate to the store. So that is always fun 
fun way to, you know, create something and then be able to get uh, a little gift card possibly. So now I am, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use this, but I did get some of that mixed media on the picture. <laughs> Whoops. So I'm trying to figure out what I can put here um, at the corner of this photo to cover that up. And I'm actually going to go in a completely different way. At first I did like a little circle punch and then I thought about a circle sticker and yeah, so um I'm going to kind of sit here and think for a minute. I cut this fishtail banner out as well with a piece of scrap paper. Um, and I am going to use that, but not there. I also am looking at the sticker sheet and was thinking about using this, but I just felt like it was too big. Um, I know I have all of this space over on the left-hand side, but I want that mixed media to be one of the focuses and I don't want to cover it up. So I grabbed this little sticker and it was a speech bubble, but I cut the little, little speech part off and, um, just, I'm going to use it as just a regular sticker and it says, you're so sweet. Um, and so for this page, I'm going to use some of the little gummy bears and the ring pops from the sticker sheet and the ephemera pack. Um, because it says you're so sweet. So I'm going to use little candy pieces. So I just thought that that was super cute, adorable. Um, yeah, I was pretty proud of myself for that. That's super cute. I love it. <laughs> I love the little ring pops. They're so cute. Doodlebug makes the cutest little things with the little cute faces and stuff. So, so fun. So I did pop that sticker up on foam tape because I want to layer some stuff behind it and I don't want it all to be flat. So that is why I did that. So I'm going to put a little gummy bear on each side of that sticker. So that's going to be like my beginning layer. And I'm going to fuss here for a minute with this ring pop, um, the pink one. I'm not sure where I want to put it and I'm actually not going to end up using the die cut one. I'm going to end up pulling in a sticker um, that's a little bit smaller. So I did end up using that fishtail banner up at the top and then I have this little piece left over. So I'm just going to tuck it behind the photo layers to make it another piece behind the layers. Um, and now I pulled out the little ring pop sticker and that's where she's going to go because she's pink. So it's a she. Um, and I'm going to use some smaller gummy bears that are on the sticker sheet and then um, I'm going to pull in some word phrases and the one that I'm going to put up here on the banner at the top it says you're my, or you are my happy place and I'm going to also make that into a banner as well and layer it on top of that other banner. And then some of the tiny like little phrase stickers that I'm going to use um, below the photo are best friends, sweetie, honey, and XOXO. And I'm going to use some of these tiny enamel heart stickers in a couple places. Um, and they're so stinking cute. I love them so much. They're adorable. And then I believe that that is going to be my layout for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss any upcoming videos. And leave me a comment. I love, 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 love hearing from you guys. I really love interacting with you guys. If you have any questions, um, anything, just leave it below and I will reply back to you. So remember to spread love and be kind. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll have an amazing day. Bye.